Hi, I'm Tad Gallion. I wish to change science history, shed light on novelist Ian Fleming, explain how England became a world power, craft a beautiful work of art in glass, and bust open a Renaissance era spy ring. How will I go about this modest endeavor? Let me explain. First, I must prove the telescope was not invented in Holland in 1608, as believed, but rather decades earlier in England. As evidence, I offer William Bourne's careful description of how to build a telescope sent to Lord Burley, Queen Elizabeth's closest advisor in 1580. It had an unusual design, with a giant lens called a perspective glass in the front and a concave cosmetics-like mirror in the back. Together, they formed a proportional glass. The observer looked into the mirror to see the magnified image. Why doesn't Bourne get credit for the invention? because critics claim Bourne's design was unworkable and the materials of the day inadequate. I've built a model of this device using modern materials. An educational lens and a cosmetics mirror hang from a mast and boom, as nautical Bourne would likely have done. In the distance, the Boston skyline. Now look into the mirror. It's amazing. Observe, this isn't peering into a little lens. A window lights up before you. Bourne wrote, it will show the thing of a marvelous largeness in a manner incredible to be believed of common people. Some claim England watched for the Spanish Armada with this device. If so, it may explain how England spotted the Armada from land, defeated it, and rose as a world power. A secret device critical to England's survival, just as radar was during World War II. Now check this out. Bourne states the real proportional glass expert is Queen Elizabeth's advisor, John Dee. She referred to him as her eyes, and some believe he was her spy. His secret signature to the Queen was the original 007. For her eyes only. Nobody knows what this symbol means or where it came from, but set next to my model, it becomes a startling clue. Let's build this telescope with Elizabethan era materials to rewrite science history about telescopes, rewrite world history about the rise of England as a global power, and bring this beautiful technology back to life.